Welcome third, fourth, and fifth graders, and also our amazing teaching staff who works with each of you every day. Hey, as you watch Celebrate Corbell this week with the recording, we want to just highlight success to you. And what does success mean to you? And we go over a few different polls, and I want you to think about the word successful and what you would normally define that as being. So I'm going to give you some examples. This person, well, he won an Oscar and an Emmy Award for a short film based on a poem that he wrote, pretty successful. He's also a businessman who was able to kind of market himself and uh, create different businesses throughout the world. He was also a founder of a girls sports team in which he actually helped build a team that his daughter played in and did very well in. This person also met multiple presidents. He traveled the world teaching the sport that he loved. All those things are super successful, but on the same, the same person also had some failures and some setbacks. For instance, he missed the most career shots in NBA history, meaning he took he took shots and missed more than any other player in NBA history. Yeah. In fact, he missed more than 1,000 shots more than the next person during his playing career. In one game, he shot the ball and missed it 30 times. 30 times he missed the basket. He also was had the fourth most turn turnovers in NBA history. He had 4,000 turnovers, which means 4,000 times he made a mistake and gave the ball to the other team. It's a lot of mistakes. But yet on one hand, we look that he was successful. On the other hand, would you say he's a failure? Who's that person? That person was Kobe Bryant. You see Kobe Bryant there pictured with his daughter. Also Kobe Bryant on the bottom of the screen walking towards center court when he retired from the Lakers. And also pictured with President Obama and also pictured with pictures from around the world of him working and teaching sports. So if you look back at that first slide, was he successful or was he not? Well, I think when you see Kobe Bryant, you know who he was. And the, the great thing about Kobe Bryant is he had such a great passion for everything he did, whether it was basketball, teaching, leading, talking to people, which made him so, so successful. So whatever your passion is, boys and girls, you need to make sure that you're giving your everyday best effort, never giving yourself a day off, just like Kobe Bryant. My question to you is what standard would you set for yourself? We know the standard that Kobe set for himself. He wasn't afraid to take the shot, even if he was going to miss it, even if people were going to criticize him. Well, are you going to take that shot towards your goals that you want to achieve? Are you going to have that attitude that you're going to try? You're going to take risks. You're never going to give up. You're always going to look better, just like Kobe. Let's take a look. Let's take a moment and listen to this quick video that he produced that helped him win an Oscar and an Emmy.
So boys and girls, I asked you that question. When you set that goal for yourself and you things are going well, it's great to continue moving forward. It's great to feel good about your goals. That's good, but you are going to miss some shots. You are going to have some turnovers in your life. And you have a great team of people around you to help. Kobe had a great team. He was also one of the best people on his team with his competitive edge and his desire to do best. That cannot be taught. Our teachers here do a great job of working with you and setting up all the learning objectives and setting up activities and structures for you to be able to participate and engage in school. But at the, every day you have to be on time for the game of school. You have to set your desire on what you're focusing on, just like Kobe did. Whether it's basketball, a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, whatever it may be, what do you want to try to have set your quest to be your best at? Only you can do that. We will be here every day helping you and preparing you for, for the game of life. But at the every day, you're going to have to take that shot. You're going to have to rebound after a turnover. You're going to have to desire, excuse me, you're going to have to set your desire on making the best of the game that you have each and every day. Have a great rest of your Friday, boys and girls. We'll see you soon.